Okay, so today I'm going to show you how many books by Gordon Corman that I have read. So, I've said this a lot. I know you probably don't want to hear it again, but I have given away a lot of my books. And most of them were Gordon Corman's because he used to be one of my favorites. I think, um, I don't know, I give away a lot of my books, but I only kept two of the very special ones to me, which are these two, and, um, yeah. So I made a list of the ones that I can remember that I read from him, and if you want me to, I will do a book review, I probably will, but whatever, okay. So the first one um, is called Born to Rock, and I think that he um, made this book of April of 2006. The next one is The Climb um, of 2002. Um, obviously, I was only like two or three back then, but... Um, I managed to read it when I was approximately um, seven, maybe eight. Um, the next one is The Danger, and he published that in 2003. Um, the next one is The Deep, by Jul it's in July 2003. Um, the next one is The or I call it The Hideout because I think it sounds better but it's actually called Hideout um, in 2013. Um, I Want to Go Home, 1984. Um, liar, Liar, Pants on Fire, which I actually did not enjoy that much. Um, I don't really remember when he um, published it. One False Note, 2008, Pop, 2009, Planet, Planet of the Nose Pickers, 2000 of May, SOS, Save Our Souls, 2011, um, Radio 5th Grade, um, I don't even remember, A Semester in the Life of a Garbage Bag, and then I have two more. Which is, wait, hold on. Who Bugs Potter? And um, Your Mommy is a Nose Picker. And um, I think that one was published in 2002, like 2000. But then, yeah, okay. So in 2000. And um, I have them right here. And I, um, I don't know, there's like a lot of books that has nose, I think there's like two or three of his books that are nose picker books, and I actually, those are my favorite ones, or one of my favorite ones, but, um, obviously I actually was only able to keep two because I had so many books that my parents wouldn't allow me to have them, but, these are really good. I really wish that I got a um, softback of this one because I think softbacks are better and a lot cheaper. Yeah, but I don't know why, but this hardback one, it has like all these lines on it that were printed on there, trust me. But yeah, so like these are a lot, well they're actually like for Scholastic books, I think that they're... Um, the same um, amount of money even if you get a hardback or softback because this one was like $8.99 and usually they're $9.99 for softbacks. Um, I don't really remember how much this was because um, this is the first book that I ever read from him because um, I was at my book fair and my, one of my librarians um, recommended this for me so I got the one of his newer books and I do not even remember when this came out, but 
I don't remember a lot of when books first came out, so. Okay. So, yeah, I think that this was published in 2013, so it is one of his newer, newer books. But, yeah, I would love to reread both of these. I'm currently rereading this one, and I've kept it in such good condition, I can't even believe it. And this one, too, is just that do not ever, even if it's hardback or softback, never um, have it up like this, standing. Always lay them flat because um, this can happen. That's why um, The Fault in Our Stars, I've read it twice already and um, I've been setting them up like this in my bookshelf and I'm not going to do that anymore because it actually really, really hurts this. So I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. But um, with all of my hardback books and softback books, they've been tearing and ripping and from right here. So, yeah, those are the ones. Okay.